Would you like to know how to customize your Streamlabs OBS overlay? Then today we've got just your solution, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you wanna learn more about how to live stream like a pro, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications bell on so you don't miss a single video. When you are live streaming online, what is your preference on how you do it? Do you use Streamlabs OBS? Or are you a fan of OBS Classic or OBS Studio? Definitely would love to hear from you down inside the comments. The Streamlabs OBS software is amazing. I'm a huge fan of it and so is Walt. And when I first got Streamlabs OBS, I was overwhelmed at all of the different templates and they look nice. However, I was like, I don't want them to look like that. How do I customize them? So I reached out to Walt and I had him kind of walk me through it. And here is the tutorial. So take it away, Walt. Okay, so in a past video, I showed you how to download the overlays for Streamlabs OBS. It's an easy process. If you missed that video and you're wanting to know how, just click that card uh, button up there at the top and that'll take you to the video that shows you how to install overlays. I already have an all overlay installed. It's called Predator Red by Nerd or Die. Um, I love their stuff. I've actually bought uh, from their website some actual uh, stingers. Uh, those are transitions, so instead of doing like a fade or a uh, short clip over when switching your scenes, um, it gives it a little bit more animation, a little bit more professional of a look, uh, and that then it makes the stream fun. Um, and that's what it's all about when we stream and we're presenting content. We kind of want to make it a little bit of fun. We're looking at the gameplay screen right now. Uh, let's go through the screens real quick. We have the stream starting soon stream ending a just chatting stream and then we have two variations that we can choose from we have in-game top and bottom support and in-game side support well, there's a little work we have to do so we're going to go ahead and we're going to customize these a little bit and that's the, uh, another reason why i like nerd or dies uh templates matter of fact um i think you can buy the animated version of this i think it's like 20 percent off right now so if you download the free one on streamlabs obs it'll give you a little pop-up over in the right hand corner where i'll offer to pay the animated but just for this tutorial sake uh we're going with the uh, static overlay and i'm going to show you guys how to customize these so uh, as you see, we have uh, different things to choose from. We got top or bottom. And here's the thing. This is what I like because the fact that I stream different games. I don't play the same game. I'm not a Fortnite streamer. I'm not an Apex Legends streamer. I, I have played Fortnite and I have streamed Fortnite. But it's one of those things where I'll play a game for about a week or so. And then I transition over to another game. Or I'll switch it up. I might play Fortnite on Fridays. And then the rest of the week, I might do totally different games. So this is why I like these types of templates or overlays because of the fact that we can customize them. We can move stuff around and um, get rid of different things. Now, for the sake that you're not sitting here watching a 20 minute video, I'm gonna show you quickly how to edit some of these and then uh, we're just gonna hide the rest for now. And when you do this yourself, you're obviously gonna probably wanna customize all of it and then uh, pop pop up, hide, whatever you want. That way you can do it on the fly if you if you so choose to. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is this is our uh, over, over the game overlay or in game overlay. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose. I like the top. For some reason, I like my stuff to stand on the top. It just uh, seems to be more eye catching, but then again, I've played games to where I've been forced to put it at the bottom. Um, this one here doesn't have a name badge or name tag. Uh, doesn't mean you can't go add one yourself, uh, especially if you already have like your branding. I would recommend putting that in there and tying it in as well. Uh, so we're gonna go with the top one and I like this four one. Uh, the reason being is because it has legend, my legend donator. It has my uh, latest tipper, um, then my sub, uh, latest sub I should say, and then my latest cheer where the three one just has legend tip and follow. So here's the thing, I like to reward my people who subscribe to me as well. So let's go ahead and make sure that they're recognized. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn off the top one. So we're gonna click that real quick here. And that's the three, right? Oh, we took off the bottom one. That's okay, we need to take that one out as well. 
we're going to take out the, nope, that's the one we want. Let's take out the, that one. There we go. And then last but least, let's go ahead and take out that one. So now we're left with the single one that we want. Now, what we could do is uh, you want to click the whole folder. Usually if you click all this, it should highlight the folder. It didn't. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so as you see, we've clicked the whole folder, it has selected everything, and now we should be able to drag and position this however we want. Now, if you were to go in the folder, you can actually edit or take out different things if you want to put in different icons, which actually, let's go to this screen real quick here. Uh, you see they've given you different color icons, so if you choose to do a gray or a red, you can go with that by copying those. And putting them over but for the simplicity of this tutorial we're going to stick with this for now now we have a, another webcam uh that's the 16 by 9 and as you see i am using the 4.3 i'm using the standard uh one i feel it once again it depends on what i'm streaming and uh what i'm doing in the stream whether i want the 16 by 9 versus the 4.3 or 4 by 3 um, how much screen I think the four three is great because it takes up less real estate when it comes to streaming so let's go ahead and we're gonna take that webcam out as well so mind you we're not deleting it and the reason why we're not deleting it is because what if we want that later on and we want to be able to move it around and use it so let's go ahead and we're just gonna hit the eyeball go ahead and you can lock these in the ones that we just hid we can even lock that top one so it doesn't move around so that's the thing, once you're done with certain aspects of moving stuff around and hiding them, it's good to lock them in so you don't accidentally bump them or move them while you're live streaming. Okay, I'm gonna show you a real quick tip. I recommend doing this. So as you see, they, the developers of the overlay already put some folders, some nice and neat folders in there. Now I wanna make a folder for my webcam and my overlay for my webcam, because as you see here, I can move the overlay, but yet my cam doesn't go with it. So as I was saying, uh, we've moved the camera to not have to move those two together and, and have to fiddle fat around like I just did. Here's the thing. We're going to want to click the folder icon here that says add folder. We're going to title it uh, cam stuff. You can title whatever you want, just as long as you know what it is. Now what we're going to do is we are going to go in and we are going to drag it into the folder. And same thing with the video game or the video capture device, which is our webcam. We're going to drag that in as well. Boom. Now they're in one folder. So now we can click that folder and it will highlight both and see now we can move around the framing and the cam at the same time. So I highly recommend, and that's the same, that goes the same with anything else that you do in Streamlabs OBS. Try to tie it into the folder. Now, obviously, if you have too much stuff going on in the folder, it could probably get overwhelming, especially if you want to just move one piece of it and you don't want to scroll through 30 items just to move that one piece. So lock in certain items in one folder that are always going to be associated with that item. For instance, my webcam, the 4.3 ratio, is always going to be tied to this webcam frame versus the 16 by nine, you can tie that cam into that web frame and put it in a separate folder to move that around as well. So now the next thing we wanna do is we have pretty much everything set up. We have our game capture, and what we're gonna to have to do uh, to capture and stream a game is we're just gonna right click on it, we're gonna to go to properties, and then we're gonna select it. For instance, I always capture specific windows. And the reason being, uh, for that is because the certain selections are capture any full screen application or capture specific windows. Some games I like to run in windowed mode where other games I don't. And the reason for that is, is some games on Steam or other games that are even off of Steam, when I go to alt tab out or minimize them, it crashes the game. Some of the games are unstable when I'm streaming. So to minimize that problem, I might stream it in windowed mode. So that way I can minimize the game if I want to open something else up or uh, bounce over to do something, you know, wh whatever you're doing on the stream. Um, that way I can capture that specific window at any time. So the window that obviously I was capturing last was Magic the Gathering MTGA uh, Arena, Magic the Gathering Arena EXE. 
So that's what you're going to look for when you're capturing games is that exe file. And then all you do is you just capture it and you hit done. Um, you can also hide cursor. I forgot to show you that as well. Let's show you that. And go to properties. So you can turn off capture cursor. So if you don't want your viewers to see the cursor bouncing all around on your screen, then you can click that off as well. And sometimes I do that. I find that helpful, uh, especially if it's a game where I'm using that cursor a lot. Uh, the viewers don't want to be distracted with it. They want to focus on the gameplay and not where my mouse is going. So you can always click that off and then hit done. And now we're good to go. Also remember that it is layered. So the game capture right now, as it sits, is going to cover up everything but our cam. And we don't want that. So what we are going to do now is we are going to drag that puppy all the way down. Okay, so now it is at the very back. So as you see, as we scroll up, cam is at the top. Then you have your banner or your support bar, whatever they like to call it. And then game capture in the back. So just think of it as pieces of construction paper. As kids, we would sit there and cut out, you know, especially if we were doing something for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatnot. We would cut out construction paper and you layer it. Kind of like uh, the how South Park, the, the, they first animated the uh, first one. They paid some poor guy to sit there and cut out all the little pieces and layer them. So think about Streamlabs OBS and even OBS Studio in that way, that it's always in layers. And think about it this way. The top of the list, it's going to be in your face. The very back is going to be obviously sitting towards the back or the very bottom is going to be towards the back. All right, let's move on. Um, so now we're going to go to the stream starting soon screen. So as you see here, it's already captured our legend and then our tip and then our follow, our latest follow. And then it has a schedule. Now, this is where we can change it real quick. We can go on that. We're going to right click on it. Go to properties. And now this is where we can change the text. So we can go say, uh, say we only do Mondays and Fridays. So we can go Monday and fr Friday. And then we're gonna put our times in. We'll say, um, we'll say 4 p.m. Eastern time uh, to about, uh, let's see, to about, We'll say 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll say we'll do a two hour stream. Boom. So now you just hit done. And now as you see, it's starting to cover up, <laughs> but that's not a problem. That's not an issue. All we do is we just drag that over. Boom. Now let's go ahead and fix that other one. Say we don't need it at all. Once again, don't erase it. You can erase it and then you can always go back and change it at a later time. So let's see here. Let's click on the schedule box. Let's open it up. Okay, schedule headline one, I'm assuming is the one we just did. Schedule two, boom. We just click the eyeball and it's gone. It's hidden. Now, it's still there. So if you want to add more days later on, you can go back and add them. So now we're looking a lot better. Here's the thing. This is what we were missing over on the game screen side of things. And some people feel that, you know, they should have their branding name on there and whatnot. I feel this way. They've already found your channel. They've already read who your name was. They don't need something staring at them in their face or maybe you're the type of streamer that feels that it needs to stare at them in the face to remind them constantly that hey my name is walt <laughs> you need to remember my name i'm important i'm a big thing okay so now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put our name in so let's do uh what we'll is put what we'll is put my name so we're gonna right click on it again we're gonna go to properties and we're gonna change we're gonna put walt let's make it all caps why not now let's change the font I want to change the font. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's go ahead. Uh, oh, let's see what Alice looks like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's go with that. Even though it kind of pops it out of the theme that they had going on. And nine times out of 10, a lot of times when you download these overlays or these overlay packages, you'll find that the font is pretty much on theme, on point, And you probably don't want to play around with it as much as you should. Um, my rule of thumb is crank that font size all the way up. They have it pretty far up. It's at 144. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and let's give it an outline. We got some red in there. Let's play with the outline a little bit. Click on outline. Let's go ahead and bump that bad boy up to a six. Let's see what it gives us. Let's change the color. Let's go with red. Not bad. Not bad. Let's click off. We could move it. Let's move it. There we go. 
I'm kind of happy with that for just jacking around. I'm pretty happy with that, but you get the picture. So now we need to go ahead and we need to add in our social media tags. Once again, it's the same thing. You can click on that. And for some reason, if you're unable to click on it, once again, you can go down. Okay, here we go. It's under social Twitter handle. Here we go. So now we're going to right click on that properties. We're going to leave the font alone and then we're going to put, it's going to be at Walt. <laughs> Hi, my name is Walt. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing with the YouTube, right click on it. And by the way, it's not Walt. Obviously you see we're live streaming tech. <laughs> please, please don't go looking for Walt on YouTube. I'm sure there's a Walt on YouTube. All right. Now, same thing with the Twitch URL. Once again, uh, it's not under Walt. My, uh, my stream is devil top secret. It's an Easter egg. See if you can find it. All right. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to uh, go ahead into the properties again. And we're going to be at Twitch at Walt. We're going to hit done. That easy. Now we have a starting stream, our starting screen for our stream. Whew, say that fast three times. And then we're going to want to reduplicate that for the uh, stream is now ending. You can go ahead and do that. You get the picture. Obviously, we'd want to do the same thing for just chatting. You'd want to set your cam up. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead. We're going to add video capture. Add source. We're gonna add existing source. And this is where we're getting the problems. <laughs> so obviously we're set up by 16 by nine. Of course I'm green screen. I don't have the green screen on. So I'll show you real quick how, how I would take care of that quickly. So I would kind of position myself center. I would pull webcam but just below the webcam border now i'm going to go ahead i'm going to right click on my device i'll go to filters by the way i'm going to have a separate video on this to show you how to do this in more detail we're going to go to the plugin chroma key hit done and we're not going to tweak it because like i said that's going to be in a future video but now we just click off Boom, that's how I would handle that. The only reason why you would know is if I start moving my arms outward. Obviously, to do it the proper way, you'd want to set it up by 16 by nine ratio versus the four three uh, to have it actually fill the actual whole chat. Uh, but that would be a quick way to fix it, live stream, or if you say you're just jumping on real quick. I highly recommend definitely fine tuning your overlays. Later on, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, app that you can use on Streamlabs OBS where you could fully customize a lot of these that you can download and you can change the colors and you can really mix some stuff up. But until then, definitely check out this video right here. It's actually one of our faves and everyone else seems to like it. So why don't you like it too?